Welcome to the Borderlands Complete Story. Now we did all of the comics that explain how the original heroes got onto Marcus's bus that day. But what happened after that and where did it go? Now I need you to remember, unlike the sequel and the pre-sequel, Borderlands 1 was not very heavy in the story department. The characters and development were added into the DLCs and the future games. So this is going to be a quick story. The story begins on Marcus's bus with the four Vault Hunters en route to Firestone. They've all come to the planet of Pandora in search of the fabled Vault, which is supposedly a thing of massive fortune. Roland, Lilith, Mordecai, and Brick are our heroes and Vault Hunters, and once Marcus drops them off, they begin their journey, as they're introduced to Dr. Zed, Claptrap, and most importantly, they're introduced to the Guardian Angel. The Guardian Angel is a mysterious voice that appears to the Vault Hunters, explaining that they are needed to unlock the Vault. So the Vault Hunters head off on a mission to acquire four alien artifacts to open the Vault, and along the way, they meet Patricia Tannis. Patricia explains what each of these artifacts are, and they also meet Commandant Steel of the Crimson Lance, also out to get the Vault. Once the Vault Hunters get the first three pieces and they begin to look for the fourth, they discover something shocking. There is no fourth piece, and Tannis has in fact tricked them. Commandant Steel then disables all of the communications on the planet and leaves the Vault Hunters to break into their base and rescue Tannis. Tannis then explains that she was tricked into helping the Crimson Lance, and the whole thing is an evil plot from the Crimson Lance to gain access to the Vault ahead of the Vault Hunters. So, they head straight there on Tannis' advice, and they begin looking for the Commandant and the Vault while battling various members of the Crimson Lance and the Guardians of the Vault. The Guardians all appear to be weird looking aliens, but that's something we'll get to in a later story. Once the Vault Hunters arrive at the Vault, they discover that Steel is already unlocking it, and as she stands there triumphantly, the Vault Hunters look in horror as what comes out of the Vault isn't some grand treasure, but is in fact, the Destroyer. A crazy monster that was sealed in the Vault 200 years ago, to prevent the destruction of the universe. The Vault Hunters defeat the Destroyer and they walk away triumphant. But this is only the beginning as opening this Vault has awoken some major problems for Pandora. Between the next game, the Vault Hunters end up going to an island of undead and battling against Dr. Ned, Dr. Zed's brother. They then arrive in a battle arena and they compete for Moxie's arena. They then run into Athena, a future Vault Hunter, and battle against General Nox. And lastly, they battled against an army of evil claptraps as they went insane. And that's it. I know it's short and the other games are much longer as they really focus on the story elements, but before we can get there, we need to do more of the comics such as the Fall of Firestone and even how Anna, and even how Tannis even found out about the vaults. I'm Benny for Eligible Monster and we'll see you guys next time right here. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Eligible Monster and check out our other channels, they're all in the sidebar.